Hello. Uh, today, as I said last week, I'm going to um, get uh, or just talk about um, this film, The Northman, um, just based on uh, Norse mythology, um, particularly that of Amoth, um, who Alexander Skarsgård uh, plays in the film. And um, I'm not really going to spoil the movie. Um, because, you know, this film was a flop at the box office, um, and, um, I don't see too many people talking about this, um, so as a result of that, you know, if you know, uh, Norse myth uh, mythology, and, like, Norse mythology, and particularly that, uh, Amoth, um, you, you probably would have a idea of what the film is about you know it's about revenge you know he's a young viking prince and he wants revenge for the murder of his father and um mother is kidnapped and yeah it's it's really it's a, it's a very good film um i didn't talk about this after i saw it in the theater really um well i did podcasting but i haven't really done that for a while um nothing against podcasts but i'm more into the whole visual and audio aspect not so much just audio um but this is a very good movie um yeah the cast is excellent you know alexander skarsgård as already mentioned um plays amoth um nicole kigman kales bang Anya Taylor Joy, Ethan Hawke, Bjork, and Willem Dafoe. Um, all of them are excellent in this film, though Bjork and Willem Dafoe and Ethan Hawke actually aren't in the movie for too long, but they're very important. Um, just, uh, I'll just say that. Um, the film is made by Robert Eggers, who made The Lighthouse, and I love that that movie. Um, I've already said that a lot on this channel um i haven't seen the witch yet um that film also had um anya taylor joy um but yeah this film you know is it's really good it deserves um uh, more recognition and um again because it wasn't you know Because it didn't do too well, I don't want to uh, say too much about it. Um, just, you know, even though it's like inspired and based on Norse mythology and Tale of Amoth, um, of course, you know, it's like, you know, they probably have uh, differences, obviously. You know, there was Greek mythology related to the lighthouse and uh, how that interwoven and you know I just uh, want to talk about how this is a very good film it's unfortunate it failed at the box office especially compared to Edgar's first two movies which did quite well uh, overall but this movie you know it just it just wasn't there for some reason like I don't know if that was because of uh marketing or might have also just been the fact that there's other movies out and so people were more interested in the other films that were out at the time um came out in april i saw it in may and it was actually fairly close to when it was just out of theaters and like it's one of those things where it was like after a month and it was gone like it didn't do too well and not enough people were there to see it i guess word of mouth was not a big thing you know social media and such so people weren't really talking about it um of course you know i didn't really talk about it too much but i mean i mean i talked about it to some people but you know outside of that you know, i don't know if they saw it at all after that or not um this film actually came out i i 
found out not too long after I saw it in the theater, like a month or so, like in June, I believe. Could be wrong, but I guess it doesn't really matter. So, um, yeah, it's unfortunate this movie didn't do the best as it could have, but, you know, I don't know, I guess there's a lot of things, you know, you know, could have been a combination of the things that I said, you know, um, because it wasn't marketed too much. I knew of it. I knew, I, I saw the tr first trailer, I saw posters and other things, so I knew about it. You know, I knew when it was coming out, and I finally saw it. But I noticed it wasn't, it wasn't really talked about too much. And so it's like, if you don't really, if the film isn't promoted a whole lot, um, that has an effect. Plus also, uh, I think there were some other big movies out around the time, you know, superhero and comic book stuff, you know, um, and those are fine and all, but at the same time, it's like, you know, at this point, a lot of people are just kind of tired of all that. Like it's, we've had quite a lot, uh, within the last decade. And so, you know, there are people who are just kind of tired or done with those. So, um, though, I mean, there are some, of course, that do well uh, in the box office to, you know, warrant a sequel or whatever. Um, but then there's others that aren't seen as very good, and so it's like, you know, that kind of give, gives credence that, you know, those kind of films should pull back a bit, while films like this, which come out around the time or are released at the same time as a big bl budget blockbuster film, you know, is and it's just it just doesn't go anywhere really. It's like a film like this should have done quite well, should have had people talking about it quite a you know quite a bit, you know, if not a lot, you know, at least decently, you know. Um, <clears throat> and again, you know, I know I um, probably didn't help any matters regarding like how the fact that I didn't say anything after I saw it, but I, I don't know, I just, I've been on, on this whole thing, like, I, I, when it comes to certain movies anymore, after I've seen them in the theater, I don't, I, I realize I don't really talk a whole lot about it, I've talked about the Batman right after I saw it, but, I don't know, I've talked about all the other Batman stuff, so I guess I thought I should do that as soon as I see it. Then there's other films, like this film, Top Gun, or, you know, Scream 5, or you know, any other film this year that I saw on the big screen, I haven't really talked about for whatever reason until later, like now. Um, I don't know, I guess I just want to really, don't want to just give my immediate thoughts, because sometimes, you know, one's thoughts initially can change. Um, though with this, my thoughts have been pretty much the same. I really enjoyed this movie thought it was really good um I still do I think it's awesome and excellent um I think it's even better now that I've seen it uh again now that I, now that I own it and I have the ability to <clears throat> you know rewatch it here and there um I, I just really you know I just really love it um I think this film uh It deserves as much praise as it's gotten and more. I, I really do. Um, I don't think this is better than The Lighthouse. That's just me. Um, but I do think um, it's similar to The Lighthouse in the sense like of how um, this is so far my favorite film of the year. Just like The Lighthouse. Though The Lighthouse came out like in October. So it was like you already had like a most of the year was already done. So it's like you've already seen a lot of the a lot of the like good stuff that has come out already. And um now this is another movie that's really good and so it's like at that point, you know, you can kind of judge, but you know, in April it's still early. You know, I watched it and I thought it was really good. And watching it months later, 
I still think it's very good. I still think it's excellent. I, th I think it is still my favorite movie of the year. Um, uh, nothing, you know, against some of the other films I've seen, but it's just one of those things like, you know, you, you just have a feeling when you see it, like after it's done, you think that's the best film I've seen so far this year. Um, if, you, if you've seen a decent number of movies at that point, um, and you know, that could be a thing that could carry, and so far it has carried, and um, I have a feeling it probably will throughout the, until the end of the year, no matter how, what other movies come out that are new from now till the end of December. I really f uh, believe The Northman will be my favorite film overall of the year. It's just an excellent film. Um, it is very violent, so uh, again, I, of course, it's but Vikings and such. Um, there's also some sexual content and nudity. very you know very very just very good i recommend this film um again very violent um has a decent amount of uh, nudity and um again there's sexual content um so on the off if that isn't really appealing to you uh I get that, but I do think it's worth it. I think it's worth watching because it's very good. It's very well made, and it's something that is is definitely worth talking about. I hope more people talk about this and, um, of course, see it, obviously. Otherwise, you know, you can just talk about it, but then if you haven't seen it, that doesn't really help a whole lot. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this movie will have a cult following at some point or not. But um, I think it's a film that is uh, just excellent and deserves however much praise uh, it can get. You know, already has enough praise already uh, from those who have watched it and have talked about it. But then there is, isn't a whole lot of people who saw this film. So, again, that's why I'm not talking too much about it because it's like, you know, it's like an experience, you know, you kind of just need to see it. You know, sometimes it's like words can only do so much, and I think that's very appropriate for this film. So, yeah, I'll leave it at that. I just want, um, wanted to just come on and just say, pal, I really enjoy this film. It's excellent. I think it deserves as much praise as it can get. You know, deserves to be seen as by many people as can be, and I hope this can do something for this, because, you know, it'd be great. It's an excellent film. I think it should be talked about as much as possible. Um, and yeah, Robert, Robert Eggers has just been an excellent uh, director. Um, again, I need to see The Witch. <clears throat> I don't know why I haven't seen it at this point. I don't really know why. I, I guess, you know, uh, it probably wouldn't be all that expensive for Blu-ray at this point, but also um, looked at streaming and I haven't found it, or if I have, it's like one of those where it's like to stream it, you gotta pay, and it's kind of like, you know, you know, if you're able to, you're already paying like, like for Amazon or something, it's always a kind of annoying, like, what the Amazon Prime, you have, you can watch various things for free with it, but then others, like, you have to download or, or, like, rent or pay to watch it, and that's kind of annoying. Um, it's been a while since I've checked on Amazon. Maybe it's there. I don't know. Um, but if it is, you know, I'll... I'll check it out or if it's somewhere else I'll I'll definitely look to see <clears throat> where it is and then from there I can just see if you know it's uh, you know, just see if it's very uh, very good at the end of it all um yeah I have a feeling it'd be good but you know 
I haven't seen it, so I don't know for sure. Um, but um, with all that said, um, thank you for <laughs> watching this. Um, and if you want to help support me, aside from subscribing, liking, and all that good, all that good stuff, um, you know, again, I have written some books. Now, this is a Western. This is our series of short, uh, three short stories, not a series. Well, this could be sort of um, available in paperback and hardcover and um, ebook. Um, available on Amazon. You can click in the link uh, below. Um, uh, <clears throat> or Linktree, I should say. Um, uh, the first two will take you there. And uh, yeah, that's really all I've got uh, to say, you know. You know, I, I've got a couple of books and this film is really good. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, it's only two hours and 17 minutes. So not two and a half hours, which seems to be the fair norm length anymore um, but you know there's people who've talked about length of films and how there should only be a certain length and I understand sometimes films are very long and they're not really worth it at the end of it all like the length like certain things could have been removed um, I think this film was definitely worth the running time um, and there are some deleted and extended scenes so you know I haven't dived into all the special features here, but, you know, it's very fascinating to how this film was made. I'll just say that. Um, shot on location and really just... It's just excellent. Um, name it. Uh, very good. Uh, very good film. Uh and that's really it. Um, hope all of you are having a great day. Hope all of you are going to have a great weekend and a great week. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.